Hi guys, this is an explanation of exercise 10.1, the memo. Okay, so the first three that I gave you, number one, you've got a straight line, which I know the angles on a straight line add up to 180. So x plus 55 is 180, angles on a straight line. Subtract the 55 and you get x is 125. The next one, you've got an x shape. So you've got um, opposite angles. So I know with an X shape, I'm working with vertically opposite and vertically opposite angles are equal. So that means X equals 95 degrees. There's your reason. That's how you write it. It must be exactly the same. Number three, I've got another straight line with a whole bunch of angles at one point. And I know that if I add all those angles together, because it's a straight line, they add up to 180 degrees. So I can just find out what x is equal to by um, saying 180 minus 45 minus 40, which will give me 95 degrees. Number four. Number four, again, here's my straight line. There's my two angles at the same point. So 2x, what does that box mean? It means 90 degrees, right? So 2x plus 90 degrees is equal to 180. Subtract the 90 to get x alone. So I'm going to have 2x is equal to 90 degrees. Divide through by 2, and you're going to get x is equal to 45. Number 5. Okay, number 5, again, you've got an x shape. The only thing is that they split the one angle into two different angles. So this part of the angle is equal to 30, and this part of the angle is equal to 50. So I know that the whole angle is equal to 80, right? So I know that x should be equal to 80 because they're vertically opposite and angles that are vertically opposite are equal. So... This is how I would write it. I would say x is equal to 30 plus 50. Reason, vert of angles equal. And then I just solve. x is equal to 80 degrees. Number six, um, number six, you've got an x and a y that you're trying to calculate. You can't use angles around a point because you've got two unknowns. So what I did was I split it up. So I used this straight line here. So I did the bottom first. So x plus 70 adds up to 180 because angles on a straight line. So I found that x is equal to 110. And then if you wanted to go and use angles around a point there, because now you've got x, you can. But I just worked with the straight line at the top. So I said y plus 10 is equal to 180 degrees, angles on a straight line. And I found that y was 170. OK, then there was two other ones um, in this exercise. This is what they looked like. So number seven, um, at, you also you can't go straight into working with angles around a point because you've got two different unknowns, right? So I started by using this straight line here and I used the bottom. So I said y plus 140 degrees adds up to 180 degrees and that meant that y was equal to 40 degrees once I solved it. So that's equal to 40 and that's equal to 40 there. So if I now use the top of that straight line, I can say x plus y, which is 40, plus 110, adds up to 180 degrees. Okay, so there I've shown it. I can substitute my y to be 40 degrees. And then I can just get x alone by taking the 40 over and subtracting it, taking the 110 over and subtracting it, and x is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, so you can actually check yourself to see if you've got the right answer. So is 110 plus 40 plus 30 180? Yes, it is. Okay, and then the last one for this, um, this exercise was number 8. So number 8, you've got x, y, and z. For me, the fastest way that I worked it out was using vertically opposite angles. So over there, I've got an x. Um, I know that the opposite angles are equal, so x is equal to 25 degrees, vertically opposite angles. The y and the 140 are also opposites, so I worked out that, so y is equal to 140. And then the z, how did I work out the z? Ah, the z, I said x, okay, x plus 140 plus z, so I used the straight line here, is equal to 180 degrees. If you worked it out differently, then that's fine. Um, I know that x is equal to 25, so 25 plus 140 plus z is equal to 180. And then if I go and calculate z by subtracting the like terms, I've got 15 degrees.